we're live. Yay! I'll give you a live. We're live. Hello, Asadi. How are you in India? I am good in India. How are you, Elki, in USA? <laughs> in New York. I'm in New York. Yes, I am doing great. So something's happening right now. What's happening, Elki? Something that involves us. <gasps> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's Tuesday. It's the Elki and Asadi show. <laughs> Yo, know, that that they came out a bit creepy. The yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, uh, <laughs> yeah, he said. Yeah. I, I realized that while saying it. <laughs> oh, oh wow! More to yeah. come. More to yeah. come for the Elky and the Saudi um, show. Yeah, so, this is um, just. It's just the beginning, folks. This is just the beginning. Elki, Elki, how are you? And are you excited for the show? I'm excited for the show. We we have we have our guests He's Ooh. waiting the wings. Ooh, we have a guest We're waiting oh. to press start a video. Ooh, I'm so excited. Who is the guest? Is this the this Stephen Disbrow? Stephen Disbrow. Oh my God, Stephen. From Chattanooga, come on! Yeah, Stephen Disbro. Oh Show my you. God, right. Stephen Disbro is here. Hi, everybody. That is going to yes. be tough to live up to. Live up? <laughs> yes. Are you complaining about your introduction? No, no, no. I, I, it's what I hear in my head every day, but it's, uh, it's re really weird to hear it outside. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you so yeah, thank We're you so much. More. Yes, We're thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much, Des, for joining us on the Indiana oh. Asadi show. Thank you very much for having me. Uh, I'm I'm uh, excited to be here. Looking forward to it. Yes. Uh, for the people who do not know, Des is an extreme improv legend. Here, he has performed on multiple extreme improv shows. And uh, Des, why don't you say something about yourself? Uh, well, uh, I'm uh, an improviser from Chattanooga, Tennessee. I'm the artistic director of Improv Chattanooga and uh, I've been improvising since, I guess, 2002. And um, uh, I just like to improvise. I, I, I enjoy it. I'm looking forward to the... I, I, I really like the fact that I've gotten to meet and, and work with so many people from all over the world uh, yeah. uh, under these uh, odd circumstances, but uh, it's just been a blast. And uh, uh, I'm ready to play. Let's play. Awesome, awesome. So Elki, why don't you do the honors and take it away with Stephen Disbro here and I'm going to give you a suggestion. We, right before the show went live, we asked for a bunch of suggestions from uh, the Extreme Emperor followers and uh, let's see. And I have a suggestion to inspire your scene here and your suggestion is... Uh, Behind a dumpster. Behind a dumpster, as suggested by Isha Sharma. Thank you, Isha. Thank you, Isha. Oh, man. Oh, we got to get a hotel next time. Honestly, like this is, it's a little demeaning at this point. You know, it was exciting at first, but I can't. This has been this has been our whole thing. Uh, we, yeah. we rough it. We 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 camp out. We're campers. We're camper people. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's how it started out. It was exciting. Like you know, ooh, we can't contain ourselves. We need to we need to do it behind this dumpster. You you, you remember you you remember that you remember that blue dumpster in in Des Moines? Mm. I do. I That's do. a good time. That's a good not, time. I'm not saying that we didn't have good memories but you know at this point you know i'm getting old these bones can't uh handle d dumpster sex no more it's it's yeah. it's gotta come to a point okay well okay that okay well wait, wait, that that brings that that's a very good point mm -hmm. i'm not i'm not it's not about the sex for me it's about just us being together behind the dumpster well why can't we be like together like in a bed Ah, in a bed. Ah, oh, it's just so pedestrian. I mean, a bed? A bed. I didn't, my, my mother didn't raise me to just sleep in a bed. 
she raise I mean, have dumpster sex? I don't No, do no, to, no, again, you're making it about the sex. It's not we're we've been together for 15 years, honey. It, it's yeah. not about it's not about the sex anymore for me. It's about being with you, the smells, the the, the smells or the, the animals, the animals, the yes. raccoons. Exactly. You're yeah. you're my point. Exactly. Am I? Raccoon. Am I? Who wants to see raccoons? Why you oh, they're so that? cute. They're so cute the way they make off with our with our food and, and, and your your clothes. Honey, honey, first of all, that's not cute at all. You it's need not. a new definition of cute. Listen, you don't need to be looking at something cute when you're having raw dog sex behind a dumpster. That's not something that you need to be looking at something cute when you're doing, okay? <laughs> It's, at this point, only, it was it was it was cool when we was younger, honey. But at this point, like, is is you got to evolve with your your tastes? Yeah, I did it for you. I know, and I, I appreciate that. I mean, well, okay, well, maybe we can. How about we compromise? How about um, how about we start sleeping behind um, restaurants and 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 bags of garbage? No dumpsters. How about we how how about how about how about we take this indoors? Well, we could stack the bags to make, you know, like a little house. What what little is cottage, it about, little love nest, huh? Well, what is it about being outdoors that you you need? Why can't you be out somewhere clean? Maybe we could go like camping in the woods in a tent. You know, that's outside. okay. Yeah, that is outside. We could yeah we could we could camp. We could camp in the in a tent. I thought. You know, I said earlier, we're campers. That's who we are. I, I kind of thought it was you. Yeah, but your was... definition of camping so far has just been behind a dumpster. Well, I thought that was you. Uh, you kept saying, put it in the dumpster. Put it in the dumpster. I didn't know. Honey. Honey, really? Is that what you thought? When I'm that's talking what I thought. About anal, I'm talking about anal, and you and you oh. literally taking me to dumpster. That's what, if I had no 15, 15 years, honey, if I had no... That's what you. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Okay, I didn't know that you wanted more than this. How could I know? I'm always screaming more. I need more. Well, you know, I had you know, that. I thought I was giving you what you wanted. More dumpsters, honey. I, you know, I'm a simple man. You are. We need to talk about this. What do you mean? I think we need you to make talk it about too it. Simple for me. I, I, at first, I was like, "This is cute. This is I like this. This is exciting." You know, ten years in, I'm like, "Okay, what's next? We gotta, we gotta switch it up." It's, it's, and now we're fifteen years in, and 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 I'm, I feel like I've stayed too long. Walmart, Walmart has new um, double wide dumpsters I was gonna take you over to one of those for our anniversary I, I, I don't want to have sex behind a dumpster that I think that was my point the whole time it's, it's, dumpster sex is not my thing I did it for you all those years okay, okay. I, I don't it stinks. It's nasty. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. 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 You you win. You win. You're right. I, I I it's you I love. It's not the the raccoons or the smells or the fluids. <clears throat> the free. It's not, it's not just our fluids you're smelling. You're smelling everybody's fluid to <laughs> that loose. <laughs> I know. I know. I and and you that you won you won we don't have to we don't have to we don't have to do this up and i had to comment on it i'm sorry no it's fine it's fine i i don't know what we're going to tell the kids what do the kids have to do with this i mean they're not behind the dumpster having sex with us they're at home we did this is our thing what the kids I mean, have to do with this? Well, they're not going to be happy when we come home and start having, you know, sex there. They're going to have to deal with it. 
they're gonna have to deal with it because unless you're gonna get a hotel or or we do the camping thing something other than dumpsters. Let's, let's 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 take it in stages okay i'm, I'm having i'm ha i just i'm a little okay uh, we're gonna do this but let's take it in stages let's go let's go camping first let's go camping i saw the dumpster we were behind last night i saw somebody threw away a perfectly good tent in there uh we... i'll go back i'll get that and we'll go to um we'll go to the campsite here in town and um and we'll we'll we'll, we'll camp there for a week or so uh, there's a blanket in this dumpster that we're behind here you know what what why what what is it about dumpsters it's just I don't, get it. I don't know this is how i was raised okay we were dumpster folk You've heard of people that were raised in a barn. I was raised around dumpsters. That's all there is to it. I'm just I'm dumpster folk, and you knew that going in. And frankly, I thought y'all, little... I thought you were just being thrifty by finding good deals. I didn't know it went this deep. Really, it goes, it, oh, it's beyond obsession and fetish. It's it's something it's, deep. This is who I am. Okay, this is who I am. I'm I'm garbage. All right, You're not. I'm garbage. You're not, honey. That's my point. You're better than this. I don't deserve I mean, better than this. I don't deserve you. I'm not shaming your kink at all, but I've done it's it. It's not a kink. It's not a kink. It's who I am. Okay, it's who I am. You married? When you met you, you you think it's coincidence? My name is Oscar. No, my parents named me that on purpose. I was set on this path from birth. I never thought about that. Not, I never made the connection between you and Oscar Montoya. Yeah. It's right there. It's right in your face. He was quite a grouch as well. You know, we can deal with this if we if you're willing to do steps. If we're I, if you're willing to move away from I am. Stuff. I said so. I've got I've got the, we got the blanket. I get the blanket out of this dumpster. Can we start, can we start with, with um, something you know that we knew something? Can we buy something? Sure. Oh, oh, oh! You you can afford it. You 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 make you make good money, honey. You should you should splurge once in a while. Okay, okay, we could get a new blanket. Sure, get a new blanket. I still and would like to use that tent. I still would like to use the tent from last night's dumpster because it was very nice. It had marinara sauce on it. I don't. I don't want. And Lord knows what else happened. If we're gonna have sex in it, then we need to. It needs to be clean. Can we? Can we buy? Yeah. It? Okay. Fine. Fine. We can buy a new tent. Sure. Fine. Thank you. See these little little steps. Little steps. Where where you're getting there? Yeah. You know, I stuck oh, it in good. for fifteen years. I think. I think you could do this for me. I, I, I've, I will do this for you. I'm happy. I love you. I will do this for you. You've been good to me. You've put up with, with me, literally a garbage person. And you don't have to be. That's my point. We can live a good life. We don't have to live in garbage. We don't need to have sex in garbage. That's the main point, right? We don't have to have sex. Can we? Can we at least have an open can of anchovies by the bed when we do it? Why is your ups? You know, it's just the smell. Okay, it's just hard to detach the smell. Well, honey, that's the stinkiest thing I can think of. And why is that? What comes to mind when you want to have sex? The smelliest thing. That's not a turn on for me. Can we come to a compromise somewhere in the middle? Okay, what's the middle? What's a middle smell for you? Uh, okay, so like for me, the 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 best thing for me would be like um, cotton candy, right? Cotton candy. So All what's right. A, okay, cotton Counter proposal. Candy. Counter proposal. Counter proposal. I saw in the dumpster last night one of those goop candles that smells like Gwyneth Paltrow's vagina. How about that? No. Come on, no. work with me. Another woman's vagina, that's what you want to smell? When, I mean, it's bad it enough that you want to smell anchovies. Same, same. And same. My God. <laughs>
Good morning, okay. India. Show me. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Wow. I just want to say that I'm so proud of your relationship. It was one of the sweetest things I've ever seen in my life. Thank you so much. Trying to make it work. Trying to make it work. Yeah. Yeah. It's mutual understanding and love. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Elkie. That was fun. Yes, that was fun. All right. I love to bicker. With someone who knows how to bicker. <laughs> I I like a, that was the only thing I miss about my uh, previous wife was she liked to fight. She did like to fight. You're welcome. Uh, you're, oh, thank you very much. Now I know Now I know who to hit up at 3 a.m. <laughs> when I want an argument. Yeah, yeah a, a candle with goop. <laughs> <laughs> a goop candle. You know, I've, I've been doing yeah. this a long time, and I've never had the opportunity to bring a oh, vagina-smelling candle into a scene. Yeah. Do that vagina up in there. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome, awesome. On that lovely note, I really love your hoodie, Elki. Oh, thank you. Yeah. You see that? Yeah. Congratulations. You have officially annoyed me. That's true. That's true. Cool. So, right. moving on. All right. Yep. It's my turn to go at it with Stephen Disbro. Are you ready, Stephen? Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's do this. Elki, do you have a suggestion for us? Okay, your suggestion is a bowling alley. Ooh, interesting. Bowling alley. <sighs> Matthew. Tom. <clears throat> it's been three months we haven't seen each other. Yeah, I mean, I you know, I have a life. You have a life. I've got wife, kids, you know, all that stuff. Mortgages. What well, I mean, did I did I forget to do something? Did I promise you something? Did I? No, you didn't. But the thing is that you had told me that you would uh, return the five million that you owed me by last month, and it has been three now. Um, five million. I uh. Well, you know, that's not chump change. That's going to take some time. Okay. I bought some Bitcoin and uh, you know how it took off? Yeah. It's like I sold it right before it took off. So that did not pan out. Um, yeah. Then I bought, uh, I bought uh, Dogecoin, you know, the one with the yeah. dog, the little cute one. Yeah. And that, uh, that is still less than a dollar. A yeah. Piece, so that didn't work out. Um, I, mean, I, 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 I invested in Tesla. Yeah. And I think that's wow. gonna someday that'll, uh, but I only bought one share. So. Well, Matthew, um, you know, I'm, I know I'm just a guy who you just gamble with at the bowling alley here, but, uh, I know. We, we, I, I thought, know. I, I thought I could, I thought I could bowl a 300. I swear to God. I thought I could bowl a 300. I was, I mean, seven frames in. I had strike, 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 strike. I made some bets. Ill-advised. I see that now. But um, I'll get you your money. I'll, 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 I'll get you your money. I, I've got a line on a, um, a thing with a big uh, return. Uh, I'm going to be betting on the Oscars this year. So I'm pretty sure that, uh, I mean, it was a pretty crappy year for movies last year. What with the, you know, the lockdowns and everything, but, um, um okay. Um, <laughs> uh, has anyone ever, I mean, I understand because I am in the same boat as well as you are. Uh, but I am, you know, okay. I'm just going to say it. Okay. You have issues, Matthew. What are you talking about? Is it, oh, oh, this is an intervention suddenly, huh? Is that what it is? Of course, of course not. I'm the last person to ever give anyone an intervention. I mean, my life has been all sorts of crazy, and I'm in no position to you know give anybody any intervention. But here in this case, since I'm involved in a very direct manner, um, I need to tell you that you are horrible when it comes to money, Matthew. Uh, what? I mean... 
All right, fine, you're right. I'm horrible with money. Well, so who's more horrible with money, me or the guy that knew I was horrible with money and loaned me five million dollars to cover a bet in a bowling alley? Huh? Who's more? Who's more horrible? Look, who deserves? I, who deserves to have their knuckles broken? Huh? You or me? Matthew, I understand that you have a problem. I understand that you are bad with money. However, I have an exceptional eye for talent. You, Matthew, are one of the finest, finest bowling players I have ever, ever seen. Regardless, regardless of the fact that you are horrible with money, your skill and your talent are right up there. I that's, what got us, that's what got us into this. Did you, I mean, I, was, I thought I was bowling 300. I made all of those bets with everybody around the bar. And then the last frame, I screwed up. I, I gutter ball both times. I mean, you, 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 you want to invest money in me to bowl professionally? Is that what you're saying? That was my initial plan when I gave you that money, right? Do you remember oh, why, it. exactly why you lost that last frame? I was drunk. You are always, at every given time, you are drunk right now. I can smell it. I, I, yeah, I'm kind of drunk right now, honestly. I don't think I that's mean, the I, reason. You don't think that's the reason? Is it because I only have four fingers on this hand? My bowling that, hand? That is one of your advantages. It gives an extra spin. Oh. Out the that's true. I'm good with the, you know, the English. Yeah. Getting it down the, getting it down the, making it curve. Love it. I love to watch a ball curve down the aisle. Oh my God. It's just, there's just something about it. Look, Tell I, me, man. I, I, yeah. What do you think was it? Honestly? Yeah. The women. Too many women. Too many women hanging off of me while I bowl on each side. I mean, you know, how, 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 How's a man supposed to concentrate when he's got women fawning all over him as he bowls? Huh? You can't, you can't keep focus. You can't keep focused. You can't keep, I had to get it right in that pocket, you know, every time. And I got all these women around me all glittered up and, and, and pretty and, oh, oh, knock them down, baby. Oh, 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 put it in the, the thing. Oh, the blower. Oh, it's distracting. That's what it. That's what comes along with the fact that you are such a huge superstar, Matthew. You can't deny fame. Well, I guess. Um, I and, guess you're right. I, just between two men here, though, right? Just between two men here. Right. Bowling. Bowling is kind of sexy. Oh, yeah, it's dead sexy. Yeah. I mean, Pete yeah. Weber. Yeah. Everybody remembers Pete Weber, right? From yeah. ABC's Wide World of Sports in the 1970s. He was the man. Yes, I was Bowling. there and I every bit of it, yes. Oh, I wanted to be Pete Weber when I grew up. And now I guess I am. Yeah. Damn it. Matthew, Matthew, look, I understand uh, that being around women can get distracting and it can throw you off your game. But do you think being distracted that we are not focusing on the on a total amount of five million dollars that you bet at the same time on that particular game. Well, you know, I, what do you what do you want me to do? You're going to set up some big once in a lifetime bowling tournament and put me in there as a ringer and place a bunch of bets, and then I come in and win through some uh, arbitrary point spread that you set up so that you maximize your profits off the bets and the wagering? Huh? Is that what we're going to do? That's exactly what we are going to do right Sounds after like a we good idea. Right? No, no, it's not going to be that easy. You still owe me five million. Don't, don't forget about that. But but, 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 I am a man of conduct. All right. I'm going to help you. I'm going to help you. See, okay. I see a future with you. I see a future with you that where you and I can work together and this can be a real business here. Okay. You need to All get right. your, you need to get your mind in place. You need to focus on the task at hand and not at the women. Right. Put all your positive thoughts into your four fingers. Put, yeah. And my balls. 
and your balls obviously yes. and <coughs> here's what i'm going to do i am going to loan you another set of million dollars 5 yeah, million it, dollars well another another 5 million dollars i mean i guess i can but i'm sort of short right now um but uh here's the thing how do you think i have so much money i thought you sold drugs honestly that's true i am going to put out here 3 million dollars and 2 million dollars worth of cocaine right now wow that is a lot of coke that wow i have wow wow this is like summer at rush limbaugh's house jesus yes hey, see okay <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> you got to end it on that Rush Limbaugh line. <laughs> I couldn't think of anybody else that I disliked enough to put that much cocaine. Oh. Man, that so that, that yeah, all that cocaine explained why he thought bowling was so sexy. Hey, it bowling is. is sexy. Bowling, bowling is very is sexy. sexy. Oh, Dick Weber. Pete Weber, right? Is Pete huh? Weber or Dick Weber? Was it Pete Weber? Dick Weber. It was Dick, Dick Weber. Weber. Dick Weber. Yeah. Dick Weber. Yeah, I have no Google idea. him. Yeah, I have no idea who that is, and I'm just like, yes, I was there. Go, no, you get you. <laughs> we all work. know who that is. <laughs> okay, I'm okay. Viewers, I'm old, and yeah. I grew up in I grew up in the '70s, and uh, we used to watch bowling on Saturday afternoons on ABC. And Dick you had your Weber favorite player. You had your he favorite. He was the player. guy. He was the guy. I don't remember anybody else's name. So, <laughs> did he have like a? Like a a a a way he threw the ball or something. Uh, yeah, he threw it. He threw it down the down the lane. That's how he threw the ball. I don't, like, I don't know. I I was not a good bowler. I, well, you I know, some some of them have got that that. They he's, got, he's, like, he's got. Curve. Oh yeah, yeah. He's got he he'll he's got a you know he had a thing and a cloth and a glove and all that crap. Yeah. Oh, I thought he was conjuring up a spell. Oh no no, just wiping down the ball. Wiping down the ball. All right. All right. There is one 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 major issue here, and we need to settle this right now. And the audience is going to help us with this. We need to we need to settle this whether bowling is sexy or not. So, audience, oh, okay. please let us know in the chat area if you think bowling is sexy. <laughs> yes, please. Thank I, you. I vote bowling is sexy. There should be more Watch people. Comments flooding in. All yeah. of all genders bowling. It's freeing. It's, yeah. If you like to break shit. Yeah. The bowling exactly. is. It's 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 fun. It's not like something like I would do every week, but oh, yeah. it's like definitely like oh, let's go bowling. I haven't been bowling in a while. Like that yeah. type. My, my now now that I think of it, my parents were fairly stereotypical. They used to bowl. They had le they had teams. They had leagues uh, for the the early mid seventies. They bowled every week. The names. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I probably got some trophies somewhere in my dad's stuff from after uh, after he passed away. Okay. So, yeah, he, he had some bowling. He was pretty good. He was pretty good. Let, let us find out. We got a kingpin in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> oh, nice, nice, nice. All right. On that note, um, we are going to do a set amongst all three of us. And for that, we are going to need the help of the magical voice inside our heads. Or David. Oh, yeah. David, yeah. David, yeah. If David's listening, David is listening. David is gone. <laughs> oh, David is gone. Oh no. David is not listening. Oh, all right. Oh. So we are gonna do a set amongst ourselves, and uh, yeah, let's. You're gonna bring uh, up your app. You're gonna bring no. up the app. Do you wanna get the app, or we have a oh, bunch of? Got it on your phone. Just bring it yeah. up on your phone real quick. We have a bunch of suggestions and. Our suggestion for this set would be um, we are at the playground. Okay. At the playground. Let's take it away. Excuse me, excuse me. Are you gonna are you gonna uh, ever come down off that slide? Uh, some of us would my, like to slide. I'm sorry. This is my slide. 
and um, you have to ask permission to ride my slide. So I suggest you ask for permission to ride my slide. May I have permission to ride your slide, please? I have been waiting. No! Approximately. Oh. All right, fine. I'm and going to go. No! I'm I'm going to go find an adult. Find an adult. I'm not a scared of no adult. Tag out, Elki. I'm just an adult here at the playground, just lifting all these heavy weights. Oh. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, sir. Um, uh, yes, kid. I heard you referring to yourself in the third person, so I assume you're an adult. Um, yes, I am. I am 19 years old. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, I'm this many. And I would like to, I would like your help in removing that young part, that person from that slide over there. She refuses, she refuses to let any, look at the line. She refuses oh. to let anyone else on the slide. Um, hey kid, what's your name? My name is Thomas Philip the Third. Thomas Philip the Third. Sorry, I have a speech impediment that sometimes sure. makes me makes me miss my final F on my last name. Cut back to the slide. Um, excuse me, excuse me, ma'am. Uh, may I get on the slide? I just want to slide down once. <laughs> just once, no. Just this one. is my slide. I don't know you. Who are you? You're very large to be in this playground. <laughs> yes, I'm a large kid. I drank a lot of milk when I was a kid. Gross. Ugh. Oh, Puking up milk on my slide, so no. Access denied. <laughs> we uh, cut back. We, we cut back to the adult. So, kid, do you know the rules of this playground? How long have you been coming here? Well, I'm I'm this many years old, and I've been here since I can remember. Um, uh, well, the rules. I thought that rules were to be nice to each other and, and share the equipment. I mean, the, our tax dollars all pay for this. We all sort of own it, you know? It seems well, unfair to one person. I, I, can, I, I completely understand that the tax dollars are really paid for in this playground here. But you need to understand that uh, that particular slide, Susan owns it. She owns it. Now, I mean, no. She owns. Oh, how can a? How can a? She looks to be about nine years old. How can a nine-year-old own a slide? It is her, Susan. Susan, do you know anything about Susan? No, I do not. Obviously, you know what? I'm going to go ask her. Yeah, you do that. You do that. Cut to that. Excuse me. Is your name actually Susan? Who told you? The uh, the gentleman over there that that seems is lifting weight seems to be working on his bus line. Oh, that big giant kid over there. Yeah, the big giant kid. I think he, he says he's eighteen or nineteen or something like that. I don't he, know. He, I don't. He was trying to ride my slide earlier. I didn't trust well, him. Well, he said you own this slide. How is that even possible? Because I wrote my name on it. You see, it is right here. It says Susan. Prob Susan Prabergy. Oh yeah. That's pretty yeah. official. Yeah. You know, because it's not official unless your name is on it. And my name is on it. So. Tag out yeah. this. Tag out this. Uh, hello. Hey. I am the. <laughs> I am the biggest kid over here that has ever entered this playground. And I would like to go down that slide. I'm soon going to be an adult now, so you're going to have to listen to me there, kid. I don't have to listen to anything. My, it says my it's, name is here. No, I don't see it. I don't see your name written there. So it's not your slide. 
I'm sorry, you had gonna have to get down now. No, it says it right. It, look right here. It says it right here. Let me finish it. It. it oh, says oh, oh, oh. You you wrote it just right now, right in front of me. You no, wrote no, it. No, no, I was sliding a little, and it came off a little bit, but it's still there. The property is still there. It's well, my slide. You can't take well, it. Well, of course I can't. Now your name is written on it, and the rules state that. Whoever has anything written on their names written on anything that just belongs to them. So I guess I'm tag, just gonna go tag out Assad. Tag out Assad. That's right. Well, Susan, I think you'll notice that uh, my Sharpie here and I have visited the bottom part of the slide, and now the bottom half of the slide has my name on it. Thomas Phillips. Properties. This right. bottom half of the slide belongs to me. Ha! Right. Stop spraying everybody when you talk. You know what? Uh, I what? don't need the bottom of the slide because it's I have the best part of the slide. So, you know, I could just go back down the other way. I don't have to slide down it, even though that's the most funnest part of being on the well, slide. Well, actually, if you look behind you, you'll see that the ladder also has my name on it. So now you are trapped. Perhaps we could start some sort of negotiation for your safe exit from the slide. What do you want? I want to go down the slide. I want things to go back to normal. <laughs> Why? Why? We could share the slide, Susan. We could we could start a a a a a, a union, a slide union, where you and I could share the slide, and none of these other kids could ever get on it. Oh my God, that's been my dream. I've been drawing up plans every day, hoping somebody would share my vision. And it's you. Is it a, is it, is it a, is it a vision of a cruel utopia that crushes opposition here on the playground through force? Sure. We, cut to the, we cut to the formation of the slide union. Hear ye, hear ye. Gather around, kids. Welcome to the first meeting of the slide unions are us corporation thank you for coming yes 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 uh this is susan and i am thomas philip the junior and we are your now your new benevolent leaders of bow the slide section us. yeah bow, bow. down Bow, bow down, down kids. Us. You there in the front, yeah, with the milk running out your nose. Bow down. Oh, yeah. God. All right. All right. Okay. We got some. We got some rules. Right. Which Susan and I will now read in an alternating fashion. Susan. Okay. So rule number one. You don't talk about what happens in the slide union. Toys R Us Corporation. Rule number two. Nobody gets to go down the slide without a written permission from Susan and me. And yeah. It's my, my turn right now. Uh, yeah, uh, rule okay. number three. Three. Okay. All dues must be paid on the first of the week and the first of the week is monday when we all see each other first rule number four no questions no questions oh uh rule rule number five you ask a question no union for you rule number six Anyone found breaking these rules will be strung up on the chain swings over there. We're going to put you in a swing and we're going to tie your hands to the chains. And then we're just going to, we've got this, we got this big fat kid over here. He's just going to push you nonstop and we'll feed him bananas until he collapses. Until you, uh, uh, it's just. You'll pee come yourself. With yeah. Come with and join us. Yeah. Unions are here for the good of you, for your good. Yeah. So join today. All right. Uh, the meeting over. The everybody meeting leave. Over. Everybody go. Oh my God.
gosh, that was that was that was intense. Exciting. Yeah. I I almost couldn't breathe. Yeah. Hey, um, um, Susan. Yeah. Would you like to join me behind that dumpster over there? What? And see, Nancy. That's how it began. That's how it began. Bringing it all back. Oh no. <coughs> oh no. Oh no. There it is. <coughs> there it is. That's improv, folks. <coughs> Oh no! <laughs> Jazz hands. Uh, no, that's not right now. It's improv, folks. Yeah, improv. See, Jazz, hands, Jazz hands are about the spirit fingers. That's true. Okay. This is wow. improv, folks. Yes. All right. That was fun. That was fun. Yes. Thank you, Diz, for for yeah, joining you. us. This has been great. Oh my goodness. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for having and, me. That was a, a lot of fun. Back Right. Yeah. That was <laughs> you you heightened it you heightened it and ended it at the very perfect note. That was so much fun to play with. Thank you so much, Chris. Thank you yeah. very much. I, I really I really appreciate it. Um I've had a very good time. Um as I understand it though, my time now here is yeah. over. Yeah. Yes, well, but well, I wish we could I, I oh. wish we could have you for longer. But you oh. you have to get this to be this. Oh no! I do. I do have places. I do have places to be. But before I go, yeah, I'd like yes. To let your, I'd like yes. to let your viewers know that if you enjoyed what you saw here today, if you would like to learn how to do these sorts of things, just like that, off the top of your head, I've written a small short book. It's called Improv: Your Key to the Multiverse. Okay, this is a mock-up. It's it looks like crap, but uh, <laughs> when it's it's on Kickstarter, and when it's uh, when it's done, it'll be a twenty-four page booklet. It's this size. And uh, inside here, you'll find everything that you need to know to start your journey in improv. Uh, this is these are the basic rules of improv, some best practices for improv, how to host improv shows and games. And on the back, if you happen to run a theater, on the back we have a space here where you can put your contact information when you hand these out, so that you can uh, get people to come and take your classes and workshops or come to your shows. So it's sort of a uh, I don't want to say a religious pamphlet, but uh, that's sort of what it is for improv. So you hand yeah. these out and get people uh, to perform improv. So it's on Kickstarter right now. Just look for improv, your key to the multiverse. And uh, please go and support it. I'll put the link inside the event for this show right after I'm kicked off. So, uh, <laughs> and uh, and tell, tell us about um, improv Chattanooga check shows. Oh, yeah. Improv Chattanooga. Yeah, I do that, too. Um, I'm just so focused on this Kickstarter. Um, we do shows every Saturday night at 8 p.m. Eastern time. Um, uh, this month, we're doing the generic improv show, which is just some short form and some long form, because uh, I couldn't think of anything special for this month. So it's just a generic improv show, but it's a lot of fun. It's, uh, it's all the stuff you like from Whose Line Is It Anyway, plus long form like you just saw here. So uh, tune in. You can find us on all your social medias. Just check for Improv Chattanooga. And you can also find a link to the Kickstarter on there too. So um, again, if you enjoyed that, this is a great way to get started in improv, really inexpensive, uh, four copies for 10 bucks, give them to your family and friends. And uh, you can do this too. Anybody can do this. All you got to do is learn the rules and practice. Yeah. Awesome. It's improv, baby. Awesome. And improv. It's improv. Oh, definitely. <laughs> they, uh, oh. Ladies and gentlemen, audience members, if it's, uh, well, to, to just say this, but this is the key to your improv glory. Oh, well, thank you very much. That's very kind, Asad. Very kind, very kind. I had a great time, and I, I will I will, I will, will see Before myself. Before you out. leave. Oh, yes, yes. Can you bless us with a location? Oh, a location. <laughs> um, let's see here. Uh, a location. Um, <laughs> I have dumpsters on the mind for some reason. No. Sorry. No, no dumpsters, no dumpsters. Um, <laughs> let's see here. Um, a football stadium. Thank you. Football stadium. Bye-bye, bye, guys. Enjoyed it. Bye. That was Diz from Improv Chattanooga. And it's time for the main event featuring my partner, LK. All right. Hey, so I know hey, you're... I, I wanted it back, but okay. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it back to oh, you, bro. Oh, okay. But 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 we're 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 sportscasters, so we don't 
we don't introduce ourselves like 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 we're walking out into the stadium. You know, we don't get oh. that glory. We just we oh. sit in the booth. So yeah. you know. Yeah, I, 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 I get one. I get no, it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I'm liking the I effort thought, though. I thought I am important. I thought my voice is all over the uh, match. So matches. It so is. I thought. Yeah. It is, and and it's and your voice is magical and special. But I mean, you don't need like it's it's like um when you get to that point where you don't need somebody to boost you up, especially yourself. You know what I mean? You know yeah. what I mean? Like like we we're good. Yeah. Okay. 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 So so I just have to believe in myself and yeah. not be too artificial about it, and let just. Let the fame come to me directly. You have a yes. You have a great voice. You have a voice. You have a face for radio. Oh, voice, voice face. What did I say? You said that I have a face for radio. No, I said voice. I believe I said voice. You for radio. I'm pretty sure, Elki. You said that I have a face for radio. I don't recall that honestly. Like I'm thinking back, and I'm like, "Did I say that? Does it sound like something I would say?" It's, it's. I don't. I think you heard. You were hearing things. So, um, do you wanna? You want you want some of this coffee? Is, is uh, it look, look. Ten years ago, we entered into a partnership union where only we are we are allowed. To, to, to commentate on the football matches in this stadium, all right? Yeah. And we are a duo. We are a duo. Nobody yes. else can separate this, Elki. Yes, it's it's unbreakable bond. Unbreakable it's, bond. Yeah, yeah. We yeah. have we have monopoly over the stadium, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So we 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 can we cannot at all say bad and wrong things to each other. No. No, 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 no. I'm not okay. saying anything. What are you talking about? I didn't say anything. I just said you have a great voice. Didn't I say you have a great voice? I said okay, fine. Okay, fine. I, I may have misheard something, you know. Uh, you know, voices in my head, they tell you what you want to hear and stuff like that. But don't worry about it. Let's... <sighs> LK, what do you think about my face? Wow, you're just going to go right there. Oh. Well, well. First of all, let's let's relax. Relax your face a little bit. Relax, relax your face a little bit. Yeah. Oh, that's too. Okay. So listen, like when when God created, you know, you know, people, like he was, he created everybody in his own image in in some sort of way. You know what I mean? Like everybody has, you know, the image of God in them. You know. So you, in a way, you. You you have like a, a godly image about you. Oh, thanks, thanks. That really, really, really means a lot to me. Really means a lot to me, Elki. Thank you so much. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't pass out compliments too easily. So you know, be thankful that I said that. <laughs> yeah. So did you want some of this coffee? Because like, I mean, I yeah, I heard, whoa, 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 whoa! One second, one second. Thank you for staying tuned in for the match. We'll resume in two minutes. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Until then, enjoy this song. Yeah, I would love that coffee. It's uh, We have a long night ahead of us. Well, here you go. I don't know which way you are. You yeah, so I'm just going to accept it from both the ways. That's how <sighs> it works. That's how it works. Oh, right? Elki, you're so nice. You, you put my favorite... Yolk of an egg right into the coffee just the way I like it. I knew it. I knew you would appreciate it. Only you. Ah, the, Only the, you would appreciate something so nasty. <laughs> I mean, it's not nasty. It's not nasty. It's 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 great. It's great. I mean, the smell of the smell of burnt coffee with a rotten egg yolk. That is the perfect combination to give you a strong kick right in the head. Yeah. Oh, oh yes. Oh yeah. yes. This stuff. This this clears my voice in a very 
nice way so that I can commentate on all the great matches. Right. It clears the room as well. <laughs> but I have to be here. <laughs> hey. Thank you for staying tuned in. That was a great song. And the match is about to resume in the next 30 seconds. <sighs> Yo, that's his things. It's things. It's things. What stinks? The, the drink is disgusting. Like, I can't believe you enjoy drinking that shit. That's nasty. But it, it's, but it's for my voice. Yeah, but it's it like like I said, I it, it clears the room. Like like I have to be here. I wish I could leave the room like everybody else. But you LG, notice everybody leaves when you start drinking that. Thank you. Ten seconds to the match resuming. Do you really want to do this right now? Well, I, I, it's it's. I guess this is the straw that that broke the camel's back with me. I I don't know. It's it's just that smell just triggered something in me. Oh no, they have started playing and the audience can hear nothing. Only and crowd we're sounds. back. Oh yes. How about those red devils, okay? <laughs> oh man, Asadi. Talk to the people about something. Asadi, what are you doing? What are you doing? Are you uh, uh well uh we're and we're back again because you know um uh Asante seemed to have left the building, but uh we'll be back in a, in 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 two shapes. What are you doing? What's happening right here? This is dead air. What are you doing? She was lying. I'm right here. I just don't want to commentate anymore. What? Why would you See, see, uh, folks, he's uh, Sadi. Sadi is such a jokester. <laughs> he's, he's. Uh, this is one of his pranks. Uh, so he will be back. Um, just uh, we'll, we'll be back in um, um, in this in a second. Are you kidding me? What are you doing right now? What's happening? Just so you know, ladies and gentlemen, the. The drink that makes these players run so fast on the field is the great combination of coffee and rotten egg. Great. What are you... Why would you... What is wrong with you? Who does this? Something is not right in your head. Listen, you want to lose this job? You want to lose it for us? We're a team. And you, you're going to come now? Oh, so now we are a team. Where was the whole team thing when you insulted... Insulted my mother's recipe. What? Yeah. All I it, said, it could, it could use some more salt. That's all I said. You insulted my mother's legacy. It was her, the last thing she ever made right before she right before she passed away. And you're making yeah. fun of it, saying that it smells and it lacks salt. Well, she, you said she died before she finished it. Maybe she forgot the salt. I didn't know. I didn't know that was offensive. Oh just my God. just yeah. for some clarity, just for some clarity, ladies and gentlemen, the coffee and the rotten egg mixture has to stay bland. Why did you feel that was important information for them to know? Oops, the phone is ringing. Hello? Oh, hey, boss. No, we just chilling. Yeah. Be what are you well, me? yeah, we we sort of have a situation. Uh, um, this match would unfortunately be our last match, uh, commentating together at the stadium, and we would like to terminate our union. What do you mean? No, it's my decision. No, no, she has no say in this. No. What? What? Hang up the phone, hang up the phone, hang up the phone, hang it up. Are you freaking kidding me? I have no say in this. Are you is, is that where we're at right now? Is well, that where you, we're at? Elke, you had a say in a lot of things, and I gave you you I'm pretty sure you said that I have a face of a radio personality. Oh my god, you're still on that. I said that like 10 years ago. When did I say that? I don't even remember. Are you kidding me? Did you hate my mother, Elke? No, I loved your mother.
mother. She was like a mother to me. So why would you hate her special final goodbye recipe? What? It, 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 was, it was a little bland. It just needed a little salt. What was, why? It, it was good though. I liked it. I liked it. Do you really want to save this partnership? I do. Of course. I mean, we are. Oh my God. We've been, we've been on the air this whole time. I don't even care if anyone hears this anymore. They've been listening to us be professionals for the last, I don't know how many years. Finally, they have the reality. We have connected with them on a very deep and intimate level. I don't care, Elki. Let them know. Everybody know this. We are about to be done until and until Elki tastes this drink and finishes it and likes it and accepts the fact that I have the face of a sports commentator. Well, yeah, you do have the face of a sports commentator. Well, great. That'll then. Well, Excuse me, I have a face of a sports commentator on the radio? Yeah, like what we're doing now. We're on the radio, so you are, this is a good job. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, if you think I have the face of a radio personality, then stay quiet. If you think I have a beautiful face which can commentate on live television, start just start a big wave right in the stadium. Just start. Whoa, look at that. Everybody in the crowd. There's a huge wave going on in the crowd. Do you see that? Do you see yourselves? The world agrees except for my partner. Finish this drink, Elki. No one wants to hear us do this. They just want things to go back to normal. Give me the drink. I'm not going to give it to you. You're going to have to pick it up from the desk. It's it's kept right here. Okay, now you, you now you bugging. You can't at least hand me the drink. You made this whole passionate speech, and you can't at least hand me the drink. And like a symbolic thing, like, oh, I'm passing the drink to you so you can drink the knowledge. No, you couldn't. That was a beautiful moment. You passed that thing. You know what I'm saying? That's it. Ladies and gentlemen, Elki and Asadi have retired from sports commentary for football matches. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we know that Elki and Asadi do not agree to, to break up this partnership. So uh, whatever you're hearing is uh, poopy cock cock. You don't, it's not true. We haven't talked about this. So, you know, just, uh, uh, we'll be right back. Oh my gosh. This is, this is too much. You know what I mean? Like we need to, okay. I don't know what your problem is. You were, we were, we've been good this whole time. All of a sudden today, you're like getting so sensitive about things. I, I said, you have a beautiful voice. And I'm getting bogged down by it. Like, why? Why? What's 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 really the problem? Are you not just? Are you not feeling us? You keep wanting to, to end this partnership over this. That seems a bit trivial, don't you think? I'm sorry, Elki. I'm sorry. I have a confession. Okay, let's good. Let's. Okay, don't overreact. Okay. Are you gonna tell me not to overreact before you tell me something that's probably gonna make me react in a normal way that you would think would be an overreaction? Elki, what? The last so many years we have been in this union. We have the monopoly over the stadium. This is great. This is good stuff. Yes. But the truth is that I don't like commentating on football matches. I want to commentate on bowling matches because I think bowling is sexy. Oh. Oh. Oh, Asadi. 
oh no why how how long have you felt this way for the longest time for the longest time i felt this way i just didn't want to commentate on sports on football anymore and not just that i have another confession what? okay i know this is too much i know this is too much for you but my mom's recipe with the whole coffee and the rotten egg i actually hate it well that's no surprise that's i actually i mean you you wince every time you you drink it so it it doesn't look like some, it's something you enjoy drinking so i kind of knew that but thank you for clarifying that that um that was a good secret that was in fact bad. in fact it's so bad i hate this so much and i tried taking this out on you by justifying the fact that this is good i mean it's coffee and rotten egg for fuck's sake i know i know i'm so glad we're having this this conversation this is this is progress this so is so many years so many years lk this union this partnership of ours commentators and we i was just about to let all of this go for just nothing the stupid the stupid fucking coffee egg combination you know what i hate this so much i'm going to throw it in the garbage right behind the dumpster i'm going to go right there do you want to join me in throwing this no what <laughs> How did I know you was going to bring it back to the dumpster sex? <laughs> There it is. Yay. Oh, yeah. That was the Elki and Asadi show. That was the Elki and Asadi show. Thank you, you beautiful, beautiful people. Thank you so much for watching our show. We had a special guest, Stephen. Biz, this bro joining us from Improv Chattanooga, and there was a lot of dumpster sex and there was a lot of bowling. Oh, by the way, Ruth Curtis says that bowling is definitely sexy. Well, if Ruth says it, yeah. if Ruth says it, it I think that's settled. I think it's settled then. <laughs> Uh, well, thank you guys for, for for watching. Those who are watching live, those who are watching on uh, replay, hello! Thank you for staying till the end and watching the end credits. So, yeah. um, uh, Asadi, um, I'm, uh, we should let them know where people can find us, right? Obviously, well, yes, yes, well, yes, absolutely. You can find me on Instagram at LKTV. <laughs> And you can find me on Instagram at what is your Instagram handle? Where I'm following you, but I don't know it by heart. I didn't know it either. Just your name says LKTV over there. <laughs> You're gonna make me feel bad about not knowing. It. <laughs> Oh dear! So you can find me on Instagram at asad three one six Khan. You can find me on Facebook. You can find me at Creating Humor. You can find me at the Bromantic Duo. You can find me at the World of Improv. You can find me on Extreme Improv. You can find me in a lot of places, ladies and gentlemen. Just send a message. You'll find me. And and to anyone else, please subscribe to Even Anderson Actor. Uh, for those who don't get that, that's a that's a joke amongst us extremers um, yeah. with a, a fellow extreme improviser, uh, Ewan Henderson. He has a YouTube channel and he's always plugging it in. Yeah, in, in, I, I, in I, I, he I, started at twenty. He's like, I have twenty subscribers. Please, yeah. I'd like to get to twenty-four by the yeah. end of the week. Please. And please, please do cool. subscribe. He's trying to get to thirty-six followers this weekend. Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> he only started like three months ago. He's good. Yeah. He's good. Yeah. He's on the track. He's good. He's good. Elki, where can the people find you? Oh well, they can find me at where you read before at Elki TV on all the platforms: Facebook, uh, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and um, I, I perform with um, Steve Diz, who uh, who was our special guest. I perform with him. Um, with um, Improv Chattanooga every uh, Saturday night. Um, check it out. And um, you can find uh, me or Asadi, or Asadi um, 
<laughs> and uh, uh, performing on um, any number of the uh, extreme improv shows there throughout the week from Tuesday through Friday. Check yep. it out. Yes. I think we've plugged enough. No. I think we're we back up. We, 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 have, <coughs> we have plugged enough. But the biggest plug of them all, ladies and gentlemen, please, please, please follow Extreme Improv. Smash that subscribe button on Extreme Improv. We will see you with Extreme Improv Extremed on Thursday and on Friday again and for the Revenge of the Mafia on Friday. Little later on on Friday. <laughs> A lot of shows happening. Oh my God. And we'll see you next week, Tuesday. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is he saying? <laughs> <laughs> and then on Friday, and then this, and then on Friday, and then also later on Friday. <laughs> <laughs> David, are you there? <laughs> David. Yes, David, show. David is finally here. David, David, show your face to us. David. David, show your face. Show, show your, your face, face, David. The I man behind behind all the technology at Extreme Improv and David is here! Yay! It looks like a predator is behind him. <laughs> you get the predator behind him. Yeah. Also, ladies and, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, please buy uh, Stephen Disbro's book, uh, which is called uh, The Key to the Improv Multiverse, Improv Chattanooga, The Key to the Multiverse. And please also buy the Extreme Improv, big book of Extreme Improv games, written by David Riley Bustansky, available on Amazon and Kickstarter, respectively, but reverse. <laughs> this bro is on Kickstarter. <laughs> this bro's book is on Kickstarter. <laughs> All right, David, where can the people find you? <laughs> when am I back? That's our when? show, everybody. Yes, that's our show. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. <laughs>